gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents Victor Herbert's colorful gypsy operetta, The Fortune Teller, starring Gordon McRae and his guest, lovely Nadine Connor. Our choir is under the direction of Ainged and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In the world of comic opera, there's one magic name, Victor Herbert. Tonight, Nadine Connor plays the lovely Musette, and I shall be a gypsy named Shandor as we bring you The Fortune Teller. I fell in love with Musette the first moment I saw her in the ballet at the Royal Opera House. I was a poor gypsy, watching her from a distance. And as she whirled on the stage, I felt somehow that she danced with all the fire and fervor of a gypsy queen. And yet she was not a gypsy. Or so they told me. All right, all right, girls of my ballet company. I am about to disclose something of the greatest importance. Oh, is it a new step, Professor Fresco? One of the most important, Musette. It is the step matrimonial. Oh. Girls, Count Berezovsky is coming here in a few moments for the purpose. Oh, 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 oh. He's going to marry all of us? Well, not more than one at a time, I hope. Oh, that old goof, Count Berezovsky, the decomposer of music. Shh. Here he is. Look you pretty as girl. Come in, Count. Ah, ah, ah Fresco. And you <laughs> lovely ladies. You uh, know all you beautiful girls have inspired me to compose a new waltz. <laughs> yes. Oh, li listen, listen to it. Uh, da, 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 dee, dee. Quank, 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 quank. Da, da, dee, dee, dee. Quank, 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 quank. Uh, you know that could become popular in time. You just composed that? Oh, isn't it cute? Oh, Berezovsky, you genius, you. <laughs> Excuse me mentioning it, Count, but have you ever heard of Johann Strauss? A very jealous man. He hates me. <laughs> I can understand why. Count, about the marriage proposal. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, shoo these little dears out of here, Professor. I don't want my choice of a wife to be influenced by a pretty face. <laughs> All right, all right, girls. Dismiss. Disappear. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, Count, which one of my dancers do you like best? Well, now tell me, but which one owns a snake bracelet? Why, Musette does. She's had it since she was a small girl. Oh, then I'm in love with Musette. Look, she doesn't know it, see? But she's the daughter of a gypsy king and the only heir to one of the richest fortunes in Hungary. You mean to say that your excellency would marry for money? After all, your title. Well, sometimes try eating a title between two slices of pumpernickel. <laughs> <laughs> now go and call her. Very well, very well. Musette, come out into the garden. Yes, Professor Fresco. Musette, you have always done as I have asked you, haven't you? It's my one rule in life, Professor. Always do as you're told. My aged grandma told me, and I've read the same in books, that it doesn't matter what a girl may wear or how she looks. 
She never should be frivolous. She never should be bored. My grandma said, my darling, always know how you are told. When grandma said, don't touch the jam, I minded her request. I did not care a bit for jam. I liked the jelly best. Be punctual at meal, she said, or I will have to scold. And I was always there. You see, I did as I was told. Always do as people say you should. You never can be happy, child, unless you're good. I do as I am told. I'm just as good as good. an obedient nature, because I want you to marry Count Berezovsky. What? Oh, uh, but, but I must have time, time to think. Well, I'll return in an hour, and we shall be married. <laughs> yes? <laughs> and that will give me time enough to compose a brand new wedding march, <laughs> especially for the occasion. Uh, let, let's see. Oh, oh, now I have it. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You know, that could become popular in time. Well, see you in an hour. Is that great? Oh, what shall I do? Can I help you, little Musette? Who are you? A friend. My name is Shandor. You're a gypsy? Yes. I seem to know your face. And yet we've never met before, have we? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Oh, where was it? How do I know you? Oh, let me see your hand. My hand? Do you tell fortunes? Yes. But only gypsies tell fortunes. What did you learn? Oh, I don't know. What do you read in my hand? Oh, a great love of freedom, of the green forest, the open sky, the stars at night. Tell me, what do you read in my heart line? A little girl. One girl. With dark eyes that shine like stars? Oh, who are you? Where have we met? Perhaps long ago in the green forest, where the gypsies live. The birds of the forest are calling for thee, and the shades and the glades are lonely. Summer's there with her blossoms fair. But sighs to greet you and kiss you. Oh, the violets yearn, yearn for your safe return. But most of all, I miss
the song that tells you my heart's true love. Come, you said, into the forest. Stay close by me, Musette. Oh, Shondo. Stop here a moment. I've never been in this forest before. And yet I seem to know every path. Every tree is familiar. The forest is home to many of us, little fortune teller. To people like me and my gypsy friends. And perhaps someday it can be home to you. We have a home in the forest. Never any other. Turn for the second act of The Fortune Teller in just a moment. 
Did you ever stop to think about all the people who must work together and do their work right to bring you the things you need and use in your daily life? A lot of these people are railroad men, but a lot more are shippers. It is the shippers who have to pack their goods properly and mark them correctly. And in the case of carload movements, which make up the great bulk of shipments, the shippers load and stow and brace the freight so that it will not be damaged in movement. And the railroads and railroad men have a lot of responsibility, too. Look. Now, here is the second act of The Fortune Teller, starring Gordon McRae as Shandor and Nadine Connor as Musette. I took Musette away from the city to the quiet and peace of our gypsy camp in the forest. And there around the fire, we joined the ring of smiling faces. Am I welcome here? At Gypsy Campfire Musette, anyone with a warm heart is welcome. Oh, I love it. A fire, good company, and a beautiful girl at my side. And yet there's something missing. What is it, Shondor? A gypsy must have music. My friends, is this not a <laughs> Well, then what do we sing to the men who search for fame and gold? Oh, ye horsemen, ye soldiers and horsemen, all ye who chase for the willowest frame, bending you double with care and with trouble, idlers like me have the best of the game. Play a game when the winners are losers. Leisure and leisure and fun pass you by. Think ye that I would change places with you, sirs. Thank ye, good slaves of the army. Not I. Not I. <laughs> March. No, no, you may do that, but not my way. What? Buy all my joys for cash. Oh, no, that is for you, but I cry you nay. Turn my blood to gold, shall I? Let my heart flow, shall I? Let yours be the strife, but a lazy life is a happier life. like the fools, oh no. Oh, no. But he's such a liar. Well, why not? Well, they will search for me and find me and take me back to the city. And yet, I wish I could spend all of my life here. In the forest, every bird. Every flower seems to be in love. Even a few of the people. Do you suppose that's what's wrong with me? What is this strange elation I feel? This confusion which surrounds me. Uncommitted sensation be real. Or is this but delusion wrong me? Can it be but a gypsy? Bye. 
approaching. Hide, my friends. We shall see if they are friends or our enemies. Oh, come, better shot. It is no use looking further into the forest. You said she's gone. Oh, she's drowned. Oh, I know. Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, I, I must compose a song to commemorate her fate. Let me see. I, I, I have it, yes. Many brave hearts lie asleep in the... You know, if I could think of a last word, that song would become popular in time. Come, come, come. We shall return to the city. No, oh, to think that I have found and lost a fortune teller. Now, no... <laughs> now, nobody will ever know that Musette was an heiress and a gypsy princess. Just a minute. What do you mean, my friend? This is none of your business, Gypsy. It is very much my business. I love Musette. Yes, I know, but she's at the bottom of the lake. Oh, no. Musette, come out. Oh, it's a ghost! No, I did not drown myself. As a matter of fact, instead of dying, I really began to live. Now, tell us again what you were talking about. Well, I'll just hate myself for telling you this, but, but you're the daughter of a Gypsy King, Musette. And the heiress to all his gold. Oh, I knew in my heart that I belonged here. That the forest was my home. And that one day I would be somebody's gypsy sweetheart. Gypsy sweetheart? Oh, what a wonderful idea for a song. <laughs> Wait, I have the melody. La, da, da, my little gypsy sweetheart. Ah, ah, ah. You, you know... <laughs> That, that could become popular in time if I leave it alone. <laughs> well, little fortune teller, can you still read the future? I think so. Look in your own hand. What do you see there? Oh, I see a life full of happiness and golden dreams for a man named Shondra and his gypsy sweetheart. Thank you, Nadine Connor, for your wonderful performance. And our thanks also to Jim Backus, who was Count Beresowski, and to Earl Ross, who was Fresco, to our entire company. The Fortune Teller with book and lyrics by Harry B. Smith and music by Victor Herbert was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroads. Today's headlines tell the story of a busy, productive America preparing to defend itself. Hundreds of thousands of men are being trained and equipped. Training bases are being reopened and improved. Research into many fields is being expanded. Production of all kinds stepped up. New and massive weapons are being turned out. And moving the millions of tons of raw materials and finished products needed is a job for the railroads. It's a job for the railroads. For, as has been shown time and again, when it comes to moving great volumes of freight, dependably, efficiently and economically. No other form of transportation can equal or even approach the railroads. Well, folks, next week the Railroad Hour presents something very special, the world premiere of a new musical play, Annie Laurie. It was written by the young Broadway playwrights Lawrence and Lee, who have dramatized many of your favorite Railroad Hour productions. Dorothy Warrenshold will play the title role of Annie Laurie, and I'll be the wonderful poet Robert Burns and sing some of the songs he made immortal. So don't miss our free Broadway preview of this exciting romantic new musical. All aboard! Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next week, this is Gordon McRae saying goodbye. <laughs> Fortune
Fortune Teller was presented by its special arrangement with Tam's Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae can be seen starring in the Warner Brothers production, The West Point Story. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroad. And now keep tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC.